Hey, welcome guys. 2018's here and we are about to get busy. Uh, we just got back out from our holiday break where we spent some time in um, Fairbanks with family and I'll put some uh, video clips in that. <laughs> Um, we just got here. Uh, it's been about two months since we've been home. So, uh, I just thought we'd just start from the beginning. So basically we got like a 40 minute, uh, boat ride to our cabin. And then when we get here, let's see if I can turn this around here. We take our boat and we put it up on this out haul. All right, so on our out haul, I'll leave a link up here and you guys can go check that out if you're curious what out haul is and how to install one. Uh, what else is there? Just glad to be home. We, we had to put down our little dog, so our little Italian Greyhound is no longer with us. Um, but he had a long, how old was he, 12? Yeah. He had a good long, long life. I mean, Italian Greyhounds live a lot longer, but he got cancer and he was having a bunch of tumors that were popping up everywhere and after so many surgeries it just wasn't you know his quality of life had diminished where it just wasn't worth keeping him around and and making him suffer through all that so we put him down about two two months ago right before christmas we did which is rough and uh so we're glad to be back glad to start uh, making some videos again so stay tuned All right, so once we get the boat out in the water, we tie it up here at the uh, on land, so it doesn't uh, the rope doesn't go back and forth, and our boat just doesn't float towards the beach and wash up. And then we've got about a about a quarter mile walk to our cabin, and hopefully, our, our since we've been gone for two months, our four wheeler will start up right away. If not, we're gonna have to put it on the charger and charge it up. But I think first thing is. We're gonna get inside and we're gonna start a fire because it's probably, I mean, it's not super cold. The South's been getting cold weather. It's been snowing in North Carolina, what? So, but it's, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees here. So we're gonna get the cabin warmed up. First things first, you gotta get warm. And then uh, we'll come back here and get the supplies off the boat. Let's do this. Well, there you go. Looks like the cabin's in good shape still. Uh, gunner is chasing something out from underneath the house that's why it's great to have a dog because he'll get rid of all your small pests that are trying to make little you know your mice your squirrels he comes vermin. through yeah your vermin he comes through here and says be gone critter that's it let's go make a fire and then we'll get the motorcycle before be we're home. Gonna... yeah yeah we were we were supposed to be here last week but i will include a, a photo of what the seas were last week and they were 14 foot seas with like 60 knot gust i got a 20 foot boat that means those seas were about as big as my boat no thank you we just stayed put you know better be safe than 
than you know lose a life so we stayed put in town and now uh the seas calmed down and here we are all right got the fire started got the four-wheeler started up it cranked up right away so we got lucky on that one yesterday we launched the boat got it in the water and uh it was sitting at 11 volts and it just it wouldn't it wouldn't start up so um came back in put it on the charger overnight and then um then took it down there today it still had a little bit of trouble starting just because it's been out of the water for such a long time and hadn't been running but uh we got her started got it over here and it was charging at 14 uh volts so i think we're, i think we're good to go like i said the four wheeler started up just fine and uh now we got to do is go back down to the boat and get our stuff in the trailer and bring it back up here well, all right uh this kind of came out of nowhere to, earlier today we got a little dusting but then the winds picked up to about i don't know 30 knots 30 miles an hour and then uh it just started snowing so i had this tent back here unzipped so i could come back here to zip it up real quick and and then uh, uh <laughs> that way i don't get snow all on the inside i already got a little bit that would be good I wonder, uh, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pose a question out there. I don't know if it's just me. I know it's not just me, but I don't know if it's, uh, if there's other guys out there that, that, you know, do the cabin life. Uh, do you guys spend, you know, in the wintertime, do you guys spend a lot of time in your long johns? You know, like I'll wear my long johns and when I go outside, I'll put pants on over my long johns. Man, I cannot get this thing to keep focusing. Uh, so like in the winter time I'll wear long johns and then when I go outside I'll just slip some some trousers on over my long johns but uh, is it just me I mean or is it other people too I don't know that's a good question leave a comment if you do the cabin life or if you go hunting and you out in the hunting shack do you uh, When you're inside, do you kind of just hang out with your long johns on all day long? Because that's what I do. Just a little. I don't know if that's a little too much information there. But uh, let's turn this around. I don't even know where my dog went. Oh, I'm going inside. I just got a little hoodie on. It's It got windy. And... I don't know, in like 30 minutes we've got to itch, so I hear him. Where's he at? I put uh, some dog tags on Gunner, and it helps us uh, hear him when he's coming and going. Because without the dog tags, he's awful stealthy. <laughs> there, look at him. There he is. Come on, Gunny! Oh, are you ready to go inside? Did you find something? So while we're out here, I will show you guys uh, right in here. Gunner has been sticking his sticking his head in that. So we think while we were gone, something moved into there, and then over here, I noticed that this was a uh, had a little something burrowed it out a little bit, and I'm not sure what it is. Now that it snowed, maybe we'll see if some tracks are coming in and out of that but um, there's one hole on this side and there's another hole on the other side over there somewhere so I don't know uh, we'll see if, if there's something there that we're gonna smoke them out and get rid of them because I don't want things hanging around our our cabin I'm going back inside where it's warm oh yeah let me know if you like the long john lifestyle because in the wintertime I love it love it